Hey savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here on the System76 website with some exciting news. There's a new hardware offering from System76, the creators of Pop! OS, a Linux distribution, and it's a brand new keyboard as you can see on their main page here. I've been watching this keyboard get teased on their website for quite a while now, and it's finally here for pre-order. This thing is looking pretty slick here on the right hand side, and something awesome about this keyboard is that it's completely open source, which we'll talk about about in a little bit but before we continue with the video smash that like button for me so we can get more people excited about this new launch let's shop the launch and speaking about launches the keyboard is called launch here's the offering the launch is a configurable keyboard which can help make your workflow more efficient as touted by the website some nice features here listed a high-speed USB hub I looked at this and I gotta say it's pretty cool how they have the USB laid out across the keyboard we'll check it out in a different section below. It works on Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. That's right, on multiple platforms. Of course, Linux being the first and foremost. It's 100% open source, as it says here. And we're gonna talk more about this because it's not just the firmware or software that's open source. There's more to it. It's also made in the United States, in the state of Colorado. So let's keep going down just to check things out. Here's a full-on view of the keyboard itself. These little indents are actually USB ports. And overall, in my opinion, it looks quite good. It looks like a compact version of a 10 keyless keyboard, also known as a 75% keyboard, but I'm not sure that it is. I think it says down below. So we'll keep going on. A huge offering from this keyboard is that it is very customizable. So it allows the launch keyboard to be flexible and work with you because you can change up any key on the keyboard to do whatever you want. There's a few more things highlighted about the keyboard. Comfort at home, split space bar, and closer clicking. So it says it's a 10 keyless keyboard keyboard layout. The split space bar is something unique. I haven't personally seen this on a keyboard before, at least in person, but it's definitely a unique idea regardless because then the extra space key allows you to actually program that key for something else other than a space in case you favor one thumb over the other to hit your space bar. And I like these pictures because you can kind of see the proportions a little better. Continuing on, we get to see what looks like the Thelio desktop from System76. Featured with the keyboard here, we can see that it has red keycaps. I believe those are offered with the keyboard. And it says we can remap keys, swap the keycaps, and configure multiple layers. And if you're new and stopping by to watch this video today, make sure to subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more Linux and operating system videos. Down below, we're told we can remap and travel, do simple swapping and multi-layer functionality. So what does this mean? Here, an application called the Keyboard Configurator allows you to change the keyboard's firmware. So you can take this keyboard from computer to computer without losing any of the configurability. You can easily pull keys out and replace them with various different sizes and colors. Multi-layer functionality, if we look here, it seems like we can assign keys up to four different layers of use, meaning you can use a key for more than one thing, if I'm understanding that correctly. This new launch keyboard seems to be highly customizable, and I am currently in the market to buy a new keyboard, so who knows, maybe I go pick one of these up. We'll keep going down high speed USB hub. I really like how they've done this. We have two USB type A ports available and then three USB C ports all capable of transfer speeds of 10 gigabits per second since it's USB 3.2 Gen 2, which is really cool because you could hook up multiple devices in here, probably even charge from this USB hub. It's a really nice little addition that they've added to what it seems like the top of the keyboard. If we keep going down, this is made in Denver and I really like like their animation here. It shows us the various different layers of the board and how it's all built together from a hardware perspective. It shows us what the key caps, switches, stabilizers, top chassis, the PCB board or the printed circuit board, the bottom plate, feet, and even the magnetic lift look like here. Of course, the PCB has LEDs on it, which are RGB, so you can get whatever kind of color scheme you want. We'll keep going down to what type of switches that they have, either Jades or Royals, and let's Let's take a moment to listen in on how these sound. So for the jades, not bad, a little clicky there. And then if we do the royals,
a little quieter. So it all depends on how you like your switches. Let me know which switches you prefer in the comments section below. I'm going with the Royals here today. I just personally don't like switches that are too clicky. And it looks like they claim they've perfected the overall feel of the switches so you can keep typing for hours on end. That's great. Some keyboard manufacturers can't get that quite right. So we'll see what that looks like once the launch is available for people to use. I would love to give one of these a try and can't wait to see some more reviews once people will have them in hand. Going down, we can look at the soothing LEDs. That's right, RGB available here. I'm assuming with their software, you can also customize these however you want. We can see some rubber feet here on the bottom, as well as a magnetic foot that helps introduce a 15% incline here on the keyboard. I gotta say it looks really stylish from this end. Can't wait to see some 4K video. And probably one of the best things about this keyboard is it's 100% open source. And like I said earlier, I'm not just talking about the firmware and software. They're also offering what seems to be the circuit design as well as the printed circuit board layout. For anyone who wants to dive in on how this is produced at an electrical slash hardware level, they're available in a repo online. I'll put a link in the description below, but we'll also check those out in a moment. If you still haven't already, smash that like button if you like open source. This is really exciting, and I gotta give it up to System76 for doing this. Hardly any company would give you access to their overall engineering process, including the PCB mechanical and software design, but they just had to do it to us. All right, we'll keep going down. And of course, your new launch keyboard would work very effectively with Pop! OS. Here's what you get with the keyboard, the magnetic incline strip, a keycap puller, some extra keycaps in varying colors, the keyboard itself, and a couple power cords, depending on if you want to use USB-C or USB-A. And finally, here's the price with some extra tech specs here. We'll go through in a moment. The launch price is starting at $285. They say design and buy, but there's really not much that you can add in that's extra. Instead, you can just select the switches that you want with your keyboard. Now, $285 is a little steep in my opinion, but considering that the keyboard is completely open source, which has to cost them dearly, and that it's made in the United States in Colorado, I could see it as being a fair price. I'll let you decide that, but I'm going to have to do some thinking here. Tech specs include a milled chassis design, so it looks like they CNC mill part of their keyboard. Here are the System76 open source printed circuit board design. We'll open that up in another tab and look at it in a moment. Individually addressable RGB and key rollover. We listen to the two types of switches available. It uses PBT plastic on the keys. The layout is ANSI US QWERTY. There's custom configuration and layout through firmware with another open open source keyboard configurator, which we'll check out. Four USB ports, which we looked at, type C and type A, with 10 gigabits per second transfer speeds, since they are USB 3.2 Gen 2. Finally, the firmware here is also available, free and open source, and it comes in weighing at about two pounds. Here's what I'm most interested in, is the printed circuit board for the launch. It looks like they even have models here. If I go under this folder, it does look like they have step files, so those seem to be 3D CAD files. I'm not exactly sure sure what all they have. I haven't been able to open these up quite yet, but we can see that they have schematics available as well as the printed circuit board. Let's see if we just look at this here. All right. That's a pretty detailed view of the printed circuit board and the LEDs on that board. Very nice. This is exciting because it looks like System76 is slowly creating an ecosystem here. This is great to see a Linux hardware vendor, which also offers a Linux distribution, creating peripherals that can be used with Linux as well as other operating systems. They're slowly integrating everything for a one-stop shop that's all made in the United States. Based out of Colorado, System76 might be a great choice if you want to support US-made products and purchase from a company that's clearly interested in open source. Well, that's about it. Let me know if you plan on purchasing the launch keyboard and what your thoughts are. I'm quite excited. Also, make sure to post any comments, questions, or suggestions in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.